Getting close to first pitch here. Let's listen in to public address announcer Alex Miniak. now we'll look at the two guys who'll get the ball here in game three. Select the language you want to learn. Learn four words per lesson in only five. Now here's a look at the Astros starting lineup. Danny who stands out to you? Well you really have to appreciate what Jose Altuve brings to this team. I mean this guy is a career 300 hitter. You talk about consistent. He delivers a good at bat and clutch hits basically every time he walks into the box. I love watching this guy. Luis Severino gets the ball in game three of the series. What do we need to know here Danny. Luis Severino's really turned himself into an all around pitcher. Came out of the bullpen early in his career for the Yankees. Big fastball, 96 to 100 miles an hour. Hard slider. His changeup has gotten better. And one of the things he does better than anybody in the league right now maintains his velocity. He'll be 96 97 in the first, 96 97 in the seventh or eighth. Power arm, one of the best all around arms in the game. Now at the plate, Martin Maldonado, and we are ready for some daytime baseball. Maldonado behind a ball and two strikes. Our temperature at first pitch and even 70 degrees here this afternoon. The one two. Misses for the second ball. Rip. Oh, it's off the third base bag. And that's through for a hit. And he will reach it first, but it's very possible that he might have had two bases there had that ball not hit the bag. So stepping in, Michael Brantley. Now the one and one pitch is laid off for ball two. So let's take a peek at the umpiring crew working this one. Behind the plate is Eric Summersgill. You know what, Dan? I'm always baffled when Eric Summersgill's behind the dish because he has a tendency to favor one side of the plate. You know, that's one of the things I think pitchers get a little bit frustrated with the E train at time. It's like, hey, if you're going to give me that inside quarter, give it to me, but don't keep moving the dish around on me all game. I love the approach out on the mound. Everything's down in the zone as it should be, but now you find yourself in a 3 1 count. Do you elevate a little bit more and get back in this zone, or do you just pitch around them? The 3 and 1 pitch. Checked his swing there, and did he go? No, he did not, says the third base umpire, so it's ball four. He almost got him to commit there as we take another look at it in slow motion. He comes awfully close to breaking that plane but he was able to hold back strong wrist and he gets a trip to first because of it. Maldonado at second. Brantley on at first with nobody out. This one sinks low on a touch outside. It's a full count three and two. This is the kind of pitching that's frustrating for me to watch. He had him down 0 and 2. Then he started getting cute, and now the count is full at 3 and 2. It happens, but I'd rather see him attack the hitter and force contact if you can't get him to chase after a pitch or two. 